Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will continue our development. So currently we are only checking for files that if my file is active then I just need to process everything. But uh, now we also need to check for the properties as well. So for this purpose I just need to extract all the keys which are stored inside this column dictionary. So let's write here I will say P R O P R T I E S properties underscore C H E C K checkbox is equals to S C L F F self dot C O L U M N column dictionary dot K E Y S keys. So this will allow us to extract all of the keys. And now inside this form loop I just uh, need to write an other for loop so make sure that you should uh, write this for loop inside this if statement because if that particular file is active or if user has selected that file only in that case we need to extract the properties so here I will say fore4 uh, maybe like a pro prty pro property underscore chck box in PROPRTA's properties checkbox okay so I need to loop through each checkbox and here again I will check that if my property if my property underscore checkbox dot active so if user has selected this particular checkbox then in that case I need to process everything but here uh, I just need to write an other if statement and the reason is that in the previous uh, tutorial uh, I have told you that I will tag this dead column along x-axis so here I will check that either this particular checkbox is related to my dead column or not if my checkbox is associated with with my dead column then uh, I just need to store the content of uh, that column inside my x axis variable which I will create now so here I will say if self dot c o l u m n column dictionary and uh, inside this dictionary I will pass this uh, key copy it and uh, paste it right here is double equals to d a t dead so sorry uh, d a t dead so this means that if the value of this particular key is dead then i will say uh, x underscore a x i s x is is equals to c o n t n t content which represents my file i will pass the same thing right here so just copy this line uh, copy it and uh, paste it right here and this will allow me to extract the content of that column and after this I will say ELSE else this means that if it is not a dead column uh, then I just need to make a list of all of the content so for this purpose uh, I think right here I just need to create a y underscore a x is x is list empty list this will be an empty list and here I will say y underscore x is dot a double p and the append and uh, i will append this thing okay so let's uh, copy it uh oops just copy this whole line copy it and uh, paste it right here and i hope this will work fine so uh, outside this for loop i think i will print it okay so just right here print print and then um, y underscore x is okay so let's run this application and see the output uh, let's select file select them click on this and let's select this uh, shop one okay so from shop one i just need to extract my dead and gpu information and let's click on this update and yeah everything is fine so as you can see uh, here we are only extracting these gpus information so here as you can see this is the name gpu and uh, everything is fine and i hope uh, uh, this will not make you confused okay so now let's select uh, this cpu and click on this update okay so now we are getting two different lists okay so this first one is the gpu so this is the gpu information while this second one is the cpu information so we are successfully extracting our information now we actually need to draw this information right here on the graph placeholder so for this purpose uh, i just need to remove this okay and uh, write an other for loop because now uh, this y underscore x is, is a list so i just need to loop through each and every list in order to draw them on my graph so for this purpose i will say for y in y underscore x is and now 
before I actually draw my content uh, it is very very important to understand this subplot okay so here is my subplot so now for example if I print this uh, axis here you will see that uh, it will return us a two-dimensional array because we have defined here rows and columns and uh, it is it becomes very difficult to extract two-dimensional array so I am thinking that uh, I will I will convert this two dimensional array to a single dimensional list and uh, then we can access all of these uh, axes using the indexes and this becomes very easy for us so here I will say that uh, FLA double T and flatten underscore axes okay so I just want to make my axis flatten and is equals to and then axis axis dot FLA double double T and flatten and after flattening it I just need to convert it to list as also dot to list list and now if you print this flatten axis you will see that you will get a list okay but I am not doing that process you can do it by your own self now I can access all of these axes using the indexes so now I need indexes there are a bunch of logics which you can use but I will go with one of the simplest one and that is instead of uh, simply looping through this I will uh, enumerate it because with the help of enumerate writing I can access the indexes so here I will say E N U M E R A T E enumerate and I will pass my files checkboxes right here and now this function basically return us uh, index and the actual object so first it will return us the index so I will save my index inside this index variable and the actual content inside this file underscore checkbox so this will not affect our these lines okay and now once I have the flatten axis once I have the indexes now it's time to plot everything so here I will say FLA double T and flatten a uh, flatten axis and I just need to pass this index so just right here I N D E X index and then dot P L O T and now I need to pass my uh, X axis and Y axis so just right here X underscore A X I S X axis and then I just need to pass my Y value and now if I run it you will see that it will work fine but you will see here errors and uh, I will tell you why we are getting these errors so let's run this thing uh, let's select these files uh, just click on this let's select this one this file and then this dead GPU CPU let's update it and yeah everything is fine but as you can see this is what I was talking about we are actually getting these types of errors and the reason is that uh, we just need to convert these values which is basically list to numpy okay so here you just need to write dot to underscore and you mpy okay and uh, this will convert this list to numpy array basically and then dot to underscore and you mpy as well okay and now uh, I just need to draw my these graphs okay so for this purpose I will use the kiwi garden math plot lib now I hope that uh, you know about kiwi garden uh, and if you don't know about kiwi garden so it's nothing but a utility of uh, kiwi uh, which allow us to embed or to use all other modules with kiwi okay so first of all you need to install kiwi garden so again uh, just go to your python 37 location and as you can see i am already on this location here i will say pyth1 python dash m p i p i n s t a double install a key i v y kiwi dash g a r d and kiwi garden hit enter and uh, after installing kiwi garden you need to write g a r d and garden I N S T A double install M A T P L O T L I B math plot lib hit enter and uh, yeah uh, everything is fine uh, we have our math plot lib and uh, now let's minimize it and now here uh, outside this for loop uh, I will say SEL of self dot ideas now I need to actually add my this whole subplot lib graph uh, to this graph plus holder so that's why I'm writing here self dot ideas and now let's copy this ID and just uh, paste it right here and then dot a double d add underscore w i d g t add widget and now how to add my this plot to this widget so that's the reason why we have installed a kiwi garden math plot lib so here you just need to write 
uh, F I G U R E figure C A N V A S canvas K I V Y A double G and now uh, first of all we need to import it so just uh, uh, oops uh, we can't uh, really import it like this so we need to import this thing manually so uh, import it so here it is kiwi garden kiwi.garden.matplotlib.backend underscore kiwi egg import this thing okay so if you are getting these errors so just ignore them okay and uh, after importing this widget we just need to pass our current figure of pi plot so here you just need to write plt which is a representation of pi plot and then dot gcf which is get current figure okay and i hope this will work fine so let's run this thing and let's select my files uh, just click on this shop one data shop two data and shop three data that gpu cpu update and awesome it's a very very good result so as you can see we are actually visualizing our files and properties but one thing that is quite quite weird right here is that these dates are actually overlapping so how to solve this problem so the solution is again quite simple let's close this thing and here i think uh, about this for loop i will say plt dot gfc dot auto fmt underscore x dead and then these rounded brackets and now let's run it and see whether it's working or not so let's uh, select these files and uh, let's visualize them okay i hope this will work fine let's visualize these one and three i click on update and now yeah uh it has added these dates to only one graph this means that these same dates uh, are applicable on all other graphs as well and we are visualizing everything and uh, now let's select this mouse uh oops mouse and let's update it okay so this is quite weird instead of updating it it is actually adding this thing so how to solve this problem uh, we actually need to use an other new concept and that is the children concept so before we actually uh, add uh, add our graph first of all i will check that if my this box layout uh, is empty or not so if uh, this box layout has already children this means that we have already added our pie plot then we need to remove that pie plot before we actually add a new one so after calling this function first of all here let me write uh, checking checking for children checking for children's basically okay so here i will say if self self dot ids dot uh, let's uh, copy this id copy it and paste it right here and i will say dot c h i l d r e n children this means that if uh, this particular widget already has some children uh, then i will say self dot ids dot just uh, paste it and then dot r e m o v e remove underscore w i d g t widget and uh, we just need to remove only the first child and that will be the actual graph so uh, i just need to actually extract the child first so i will say c h i l d r e n s okay children is equals to and then just copy it and uh, paste it right here and now this will again return us the a list of the child okay so we need to remove the first child so instead of writing this thing like this just remove it and let's write here c h i l d r e n and here i will say remove and then i just need to remove c h i l d r e n children and then this zero index so i just need to remove the first and if it is false then we just need to process everything as it is so let's run this thing and let's select these files open them just click here and let's visualize them that gpu click on the update everything is fine click on the cpu and update and yeah now we are not actually uh, getting any weird output so it is looking like this is updating in real time so let's uh, click on this mouse update it and yeah and now let's click on this shop 2 data 
update it and yeah we are also getting our shop to data so this is how this thing will work and in the next tutorial uh, we will actually see how to modify these coding in order to work with uh, one or two files and i will see you there till that point bye bye